Hi, my name is Dr. Henry Green. I'm a veterinary cardiologist here at Purdue University School of Veterinary Medicine. I'm going to demonstrate to you how we use electrocardiographs to look at the electrical activity in the heart. In a normal heart, you have chambers that sit up top called the atria and chambers that sit up at the bottom called the ventricles. When an electrical stimulus causes the atrial muscles to contract, it creates a waveform known as the P wave, which is seen here and here. When the ventricles start to get stimulated by this electrical activity, it creates a waveform called the QRS complex, which you can see here and here. Noting the QRS and the P wave is very important in us, for us to determine that the heart is beating in a nice normal rhythm and that the animal is getting uh, circulation from the ventricles. Behind me, I have an electrocardiograph machine that we hook up to our patient here, who is Ozzy, who is going to help us demonstrate how this machine works. Once he is hooked up to the machine, it will print out a nice graphical representation of all electrical activity that's occurring in his heart. To do this, we'll place him down in the, on his right side and lay him down. And we place little leads on his legs using alligator clips. If we were to do this on a human, they would use little sticky pads to place on the skin. In dogs, because we have so much fur or hair, we have to use these clips to stay on the animal pretty tightly. Now because dogs and cats have so much uh, fur or hair, we have to use alcohol or gel to get the attachment of the leads closer to the skin. So we apply gel to the electrode right at the skin and rub that in. Our electrocardiogram would then record the little small, action, uh, small electrical activities that's occurring in the heart and amplify it so that we can see it on the screen here. We can then print out a copy of Ozzy's ECG. Similar to the diagram that we had earlier, you can see we have the waveforms that demonstrate all of the electrical activity that's occurring in Ozzy's heart in order to get it to stimulate. So the heart is a powerful muscle that needs to be stimulated in order for it to function. In order to do that, the heart has embedded in it cells that naturally create an electric current that stimulates the heart to pump. When the heart pumps, uh, this electrical current passes down through the heart muscle, it creates a waveform that we can see that's called the electrocardiogram. Each ventricle or each chamber of the heart will create a specific waveform that we can measure to make sure the heart is pumping regularly and that the heart size is somewhat normal.